has to do with mercy. So this morning, we are still continuing in that series. And I will be speaking on mercy once again before we go into the prayer. Mercy once again. I want you to turn with me to the book Second Chronicles, chapter 1. And I'm going to read from verse 8 to 12. Second Chronicles, chapter 1. From verse 8 to 12. And Solomon said unto God, Thou hast sowed great mercy unto David my father, and hast made to reign in his stead. Now, O Lord God, let thy promise unto David my father be established. For thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the head in multitude. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before these people. For who can judge this thy people that is so great? And God said to Solomon, Because this was in thy heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thine enemies, neither yet has asked long life, but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people, over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been with thee. Neither shall there any after thee have the light. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Mercy once again. Mercy is something you don't deserve but was given to you by God. Something you don't deserve but was given to you by God. Or maybe somebody is, is the, somebody is deserved a severe judgment or somebody ordinarily has committed a heinous crime and uh, he or she deserves either to die by whatever means and uh, such a person there was mercy for him or her. Um, or maybe, let me say it this way. They said, okay, you are not going to die. Your death sentence has been cancelled. Yeah, that is mercy. So if you are now talking of mercy once again, it means a repeat of the mercy that has been enjoyed before either by our father or by ourselves a kind of sin that has been enjoyed before either by your progenitor your great grandfather your grandfather or your father or maybe by yourself before the mess that mess that has catapulted uh, your forefather into a limelight or that has made then become a force to be reckoned with now we can say mercy once again is something that could be genealogical which means if your father had enjoyed something uncommon through the mercy of God 
you too can enjoy sin. From the Bible passage that I read, that's Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 8. Let me read it again. And Solomon said unto God, Thou hast sowed great mercy unto David my father, and has made me to reign in his stead. This was Solomon talking about David, his father. He said, I know you've had great God, mercy. God, let thy promise unto David, my unto father. David, so what my father Solomon was asking for this, that for thou hast made me king, did me to reign, that, that you have sown unto my father. State. Please show it to me. This again. was Solomon. So that was why Talk when he was giving blank check, he was not asking for riches or no. He said, I just need mercy. I know. So after he prayed for mercy, he said, now give me wisdom so that I will be able to handle these people. They are complex. They are many. I don't know how to go out. I don't know how to come in. But when you give me wisdom, I know I will excel. God is going to visit somebody hearing me with wisdom. Now, Noah found grace in the sight of God. After God decided that he was going to destroy the world because of their evil deeds. But the Bible says, Noah found grace. I think I've told you that you can use grace and mercy interchangeably. So after, you know, God gave instruction to Noah, go and build an ark, uh, animal put animals they are male and female then all your children uh, is going to I'm going to destroy the world with flood and the people thought it was a joke and the rain continued to fall the rain fell and everywhere flooded but the only people that survived was Noah's family and the animals that were with him in the ark. But I, when I was reading the book of Genesis chapter 8, after Noah had found out that, you know, he sent Dove, go and check, he sent so many times, two or three times, to see whether the flood had assuaged. So after it was confirmed, Noah did something. Let me read Genesis chapter 8, verse 20. And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast <coughs> and of every clean fowl <coughs> and offer burnt offerings on the altar. After coronavirus, somebody is going to offer a great sacrifice of offering unto God. And God is going to be happy. So, verse 21. And the Lord smelled a sweet savour. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again cause the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. Now because of the offering, we mean because of the sacrifice that Noah offered unto God. So God now made a vow he said, I won't cause the ground again. I will not smite. Yes, I will not smite anymore. 
everything living as I have done and uh, everywhere everything came back to normal I pray that after coronavirus all of us listening to me you are going to come out stronger you are going to come out more blessed you are going to come out triumphing so this morning we know that the whole world is not at peace there is worry there is anxiety there is fear of COVID-19 the only way out is to pray unto God to remember what he said in Genesis chapter 8 verse 21 that I will not cause grand for man's sake and I will again smite anymore everything living as I have done we need to pray that God will have mercy once again on us yes as he had in the past as he had done in the past we need that mercy once again if not for anything for the sakes of the righteous for the sakes of the elect we can say a recalcitrant person doesn't deserve mercy but because of the righteous there can be mercy once again you can say a condemned person doesn't need mercy but because our God is merciful God can still show mercy our family if you look at your family if you know you discover that your either your your great grandparents or your grandfather or mother or your own father them person was successful doesn't need their mercy. time but but because our you God are is merciful, successful God then you need to find out can still so you mercy. need to do what is called our family if you look at your family the spiritual mapping of your family if you know you discover that your what is it your, your great grandparents your, your grandfather did. or mother or your own that father made him was successful doesn't need their best time to become but but because our one is less successful but then you need to find out can still if you have to so take a view to i know you the children of what is called our family you look at in. your family i think they should look at of your family the if offering that he you know you God. discover that you to see he offered a thousand months offering and this made God happy and that is how God gave him a blank check Solomon was able to look at the life of David he was able to get the fact that God had great mercy on David what was it you know David committed a lot of error he even killed one of his army and get his wife his hands were full of blood but God still had mercy on him that was why Solomon said you had great mercy on David on David my father so please I, want, I also want to enjoy mercy so this morning if you have not gotten anything I think what you should get is for mercy once again to happen you must do something that God will be happy about Solomon did it Noah did it 
Solomon over a thousand offering. Noah over the cleanness of the beasts. Odima. Clean offering. That's what the Bible says. He offered clean offering unto God. And that made God to say, Okay, I will no longer destroy the earth again. So I am putting it to you for you to enjoy mercy once again. You need to go before God to discover or to find out what exactly do I need to do. I see that maybe you have been committing sin upon sin. You have been doing things that does not make God to be happy that you need to recheck for those that are watching me those who are yet to surrender your life to Jesus Christ you need to do so now before we go into our prayers so that you can enjoy mercy once again the word had uh, an epidemic called influenza in 1918 and millions of people died but the whole world was not destroyed and this is where we are going millions of people died in 1918 but the whole world was not destroyed. God still spared the world. And that's why myself and yourself are living today. So this coronavirus that is ravaging the whole world, we need mercy that God showed unto the world more than 100 years ago. We need that mercy now so that this coronavirus will not destroy the whole world so those watching me if you want to give your life to Christ I want you to bow down your head wherever you are and place your right hand on your chest and then you begin to pray this prayer after me you will say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you totally. Forgive me of my sin. Write my name in the book of life. I promise to follow you all the day of my life. Please have mercy on me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So congratulations to those who joined me to pray that prayer now let's stand on our feet we want to pray those of you who are watching me in your various homes i also want you to stand so that uh, we'll be able to pray this prayer together the prayer number one you're going to say father thank you for not allowing coronavirus to spread into my territory Please pray Lord to God. Talk to God. Father, thank you for not allowing coronavirus to spread into my territory. Father, thank you for not allowing coronavirus to spread into my territory. Thank you, O oh Lord. Father, thank you for not allowing coronavirus to spread into my territory. Talk to God. Pray long to God. Pray long to God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, honestly, I want us to thank God more than that. I was able to speak to some of my people yesterday in the United Kingdom and in America 
and then somebody told me that the the husband contracted the coronavirus and it he died the father the wife contracted it thank you for One not allowing children. coronavirus all of, them contract, all of them died to spread into my territory so that family please pray unto God. God talk to God not allowing and one woman coronavirus to spread to into celebrate. my territory I mean just to visit talk to God a children pray unto God America and uh, together and they went to attend me that a birthday party the woman was a woman the husband from there the woman contracted, contracted to spread to and into my territory I mean just to visit talk to God a children pray so the problem God, now the woman died there I don't see any. I don't see that the woman could be brought back to Nigeria. So I want you to thank God. Wherever you are watching me in America, in United Kingdom, in Australia, and in Canada, anywhere, you are going to say, Father, <clears throat> thank you for not allowing coronavirus to spread into my territory. Please go ahead. Go ahead to thank God. Thank God. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank you, O Lord. But not allowing coronavirus to spread into my territory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're going to pray prayer number two and say, Father, please use your hyssop to wash me clean of any dirtiness in my life that will prevent my prayer from being answered please go ahead and pray father <clears throat> please use your issue to wash me clean of any dirtiness in my life that will prevent my prayer from being answered please talk to god talk to god talk to god father please use your issue to wash me clean of any dirtiness in my life that will prevent my prayer from being answered. Talk to God. Talk to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So you're going to pray and say, Father, that's prayer number three. Please don't allow this pandemic called coronavirus to visit me or any of my family members. Please go ahead and talk to God. Father, please don't allow this pandemic called coronavirus to visit me or any of my family members. Talk to God. Father, please don't allow this pandemic called coronavirus to visit me or any of my family members. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Prayer number four, you say, Father, whichever area my father have obtained and enjoy mercy that made them to succeed, please let me also enjoy the mercy once again. Talk to God. Father, whichever area my father have obtained and enjoy mercy that made them to succeed, please let me also enjoy the mercy once again let me also enjoy the mercy once again thank you father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed we are going to pray and say father please let your grace and mercy be sufficient for me in what I am passing through now. Talk to God. Father, please let your grace and mercy be sufficient for me in what I am passing through now. Father, please let your grace and mercy be sufficient for me in what I am passing through now. Talk to God. Let your grace and mercy be sufficient for me and what I'm passing through now. In Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed God had mercy on nations of the world in 1918 we are going to also ask for mercy once again we are going to pray father please once again have mercy on all the nations of the world and let there be an end to coronavirus don't let this coronavirus destroy the whole world <clears throat> talk to God Lord you add mercy on nations of the world more than 100 years ago Father now oh coronavirus is ravaging the whole world please have mercy in Jesus mighty name we have prayed uh, you're going to add your own prayer request and I want you to lift your offering up unto God and that those that are watching us online if you want to give your offering online uh, the account number will be shown to you uh, online you can give your offering you can you want to do like Solomon you can make a great sacrifice unto God and I know God is going to answer your prayer so you lift you lift it up and say father please I desire mercy once again kindly of let me swim in the ocean of your mercy father please I desire mercy once again can let me swim in the ocean of your mercy and then you can add your own prayer request go ahead and talk to God go ahead talk to God father please I desire mercy once again Kindly let me swim in the ocean of your mercy. Let me swim in the ocean of your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Then add your own prayer request. Which area of your life you want God to have mercy? God, God. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Let's quickly dance to the front and sing this song unquestionable you, you are the Lord. Lord. Unquestionable you are the Lord. Unquestionable. Unquestionable. Unquestionable you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Unquestionable you are the Lord eh, eh, unquestionable you are the Lord hallelujah unquestionable 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 you are the Lord hallelujah unquestionable you are concerning can it so they be Unquestionable, you are, you are unquestionable. Unquestionable, you are Lord. Please let's listen to the following announcement on Sunday. We will see join our Father in the Lord live. Um, by 9 o'clock Sunday school 8.30 and uh, if the lockdown still continue then it means we will still be meeting like this next week Thursday for another mind is possible hour and the team is mercy for all so please uh, let's take advantage of this lockdown uh, to pray unto God to study our Bible and to show a little kindness to our neighbor. Uh, the Lord God Almighty will deliver us from this noisome pestilence 
In Jesus' name shall we pray. Our Father and our God, we are grateful unto you. We thank you this morning for sending your word unto us. Mercy once again. Your children have brought their offering unto you. Father, please receive the offering. Receive them too. Multiply their offering back to them in multiple fold. And let this money be used for the furtherance of your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Lord, we have prayed for mercy once again. My Father and my God, we know it's because we had mercy on the old world in 1918. That was why you did not allow the influenza to destroy the old world. So we are praying today that you show your mercy once again to the entire world. So that the entire world will not be totally destroyed. Lord, because we know that the gospel is here to spread to the whole world. Lord God Almighty, even for the sake of those that are yet to be born again, my Father and my God, so that they won't be destroyed. Daddy, please, so the entire world your great mercy. And let there be an end to this pandemic called coronavirus. Lord Solomon was able to find out that David enjoyed great mercy of God. And so he also asked for mercy. You gave him mercy, you gave him wisdom. Lord, in whatever area Hallelujah. of the life of this, your children, that they need your mercy once again, that will make them to enjoy your goodness, that will make them to have breakthrough in life. Father, please show mercy once again to them. Whatever sin that their great grandfather or their forefather might have committed, that is the stubborn progress of their life. Father, please have mercy on them. All the requests they have placed before you, that you turn them to testimony. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's share the grace. One, two. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. See you next time.